Sanctuary episode six. Six. That's so, a good feeling. Yeah. That's a very good feeling. Yeah, it is. Now, um, you can see that we don't have ties on. Yes. It's okay. actually it's actually the mid semester break, so, end of term one. Mid semester. Yeah. That's a very teachery term. Like well. Yeah, it's school holidays. Mid semester. If you, school holidays if you go to school. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. TAFE students would call it a mid semester break. Okay. Righty. Yeah. Mm. And so, look, if I put that on, that's. Not good. Yeah, so, well, and why would you? You're on holidays. You know. Yeah. So, not and only... I was going to wear mine. You said, no, Ben. <coughs> it's holidays. It's holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah now, yeah. You've, you've gone even a bit further. and Yeah, yeah I gave up shaving. shaving on Sunday. Sorry. Yeah, that's a thing. But that's okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, well... You're not yeah. being interviewed by the Border Mail or... <laughs> ah, no, oh, yeah. that's, that's true. Mm. Because, um, you know, they only interview clean shaven people as a matter of process. Are you? Well, I give you at least half an hour so that you can yeah. have a quick shave. And, okay. Yeah, right. I've got to do a phone yeah. interview. I haven't shaved. I don't actually know. I haven't worked there for a while. Things could be very different. <laughs> so it's a little bit more relaxed. Yes. Being the school holidays. But we didn't want to miss it. No, no, no. Look, it's important to keep going, isn't it, really? Yes, it is. We do it for the fans, or well, six of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many likes have we got? For, um, four? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four? Four. four. We get, a, we get a, a lot of nice job on Facebook and stuff. I yeah. think a lot of people don't write on the video, which, I, I mean, I'll, I'll take any compliment anywhere at all for anything. That's good. And I, look, I'm happy because that coffee jar worries me. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, so from in episode one... I'm hoping was, that there's lots of people yeah. who actually follow it, but they just don't hit like. Yeah. And that's and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, maybe likes are overestimated. That's over, it. Um, you know. Yeah. 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 I, um, yeah, I said, Brenton, if we get 20 likes and responses from one of these videos in one hit, you'll have to have a cup of um, Joe from that decrepit looking bottle of yeah. coffee. Yeah. And in episode two, we opened it up. And I, you know, lost my sense of smell for the weekend. Well, yeah. um, I'm pretty sure. I, pain hasn't peeled yet. No, but, I, but I, probably... I'm pretty sure if I ever have a child, they will be hairless because I <laughs> sniff that. <laughs> yeah. So don't feel as though you have to hit the likes, folks. No, no. Um, we, we know the love you know, is, is there yeah. lurking. Leave a comment. But, yeah. <laughs> lurking love. Mm. Now, Ben, Kodak... Kodak. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of an interesting story with all of this, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, well, at the end of the last episode, I said to you guys, check out this video the New York Times has done about Kodak um, at, at Eastman Park, which is where Kodak used to live. Mm-hmm. Uh, they went back to the park today and filmed some of the, Had a bit of a the look. stuff that's going on. Yep. Um, yeah, so hopefully you watch that because if you haven't, we're going to drop a few spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I, 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 see what happens when you don't do your homework? Yeah. <laughs> it's like us, you know, our phone rings, we should have done our homework and thought, right, what, what do we, we need to make sure mm. that it won't ring in the middle of it. Mm, and exactly. So now you know what it's like when you don't do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> you get nasty on break. No. Yeah. no. Um, now, so, so oh, I mean, I think it's, it's fair to say it's not going to be a surprise that most of you have heard of Kodak before. They were the, not the, but pretty much the film manufacturing Songs company. were written about Kodachrome, yeah. all sorts of things. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Paul Simon's song, Kodachrome. Wow. Now That's that cool. shows, see, grey hair. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. He was in the Beatles. Don't worry about that last thing, we'll move on. <laughs> now, so, anyway... Obviously, digital has exploded over the last oh, 20 years or so, and film Film has died. Di- well, well, it's, it's kind of hip to shoot film these days. Mm. Oh, I've got some exciting news about film too, if we have time at the end. Uh, but, so we're, we're talking about a metropolis called Eastman Park where, yep. where film was made. Mm. Now it's still a metropolis, but it's kind of... Mm. Empty. It's had to be. It's, it's had to reinvent itself, really. Yeah. But, mm. So I think the video was focusing on the reinvention from you know about now onwards. 
mm. and the diversification and all that. Do you want to talk about some of the stuff you saw in there? Well, uh, yeah, I want, I want to follow this up a little bit more because I came across this last year, but I didn't actually follow the lead much with it. Oh. I was doing a bit of preparation for one of the units that we do in Cert 4 in design on creative thinking. So what they've had to do is use some pretty serious creative thinking to think, well, okay, we've got all of this space. What are we going to do with it? You know, yeah, we, yeah. What are, I mean, the figure is 30,000 people... We're making film. We're making film. Now there's 300. Yeah. So that's a big drop. That shows just what yeah. sort of a significant drop it is. True. So they've had to go through some really good creative thinking stuff in order to go, okay... How can we re? How can we try and at least keep as many people employed as possible? Absolutely. So incredibly, instead of walking in and seeing film everywhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's tomato sauces being made. <laughs> yeah. There's salsas being made. Yeah. yeah. Um, and as one of the guys said, he that's actually quite good news for him because he said, "We've always got to eat." Yeah, exactly. So, so this bloke used so, to work at Kodak, and it, his job was managing the decline. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, even though yeah. it's a huge thing, as it shrinks, that's that's still a big job, oh, managing. Yeah, that. that's right. Um, and so he went from this depressing job to still going to work at the same place, but now he's like, you know, making spaghetti sauce. Yeah. And he's stoked because you can't you can't supersede well, spaghetti sauce with digital spaghetti no. sauce. You People got to eat. You can look at the screen, virtual source, if you want to. Virtual and source. And think, ooh, <laughs> that looks good that's on a, screen. That's a good name for a band. But it's not going to satisfy the um, hunger, is it? I would go see uh, a band called Virtual Source. <laughs> virtual <laughs> Source. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so there's Source, there's this, there's that. Another thing that, I mean, they're still a really smart company. They're still producing a lot of um, niche still photography yeah. film. Uh, and using the technology in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're, so, uh, if you're still if you're watching a movie at the cinema, um, there's a good chance it was shot on Kodak film. Yeah. That's still big. The other thing was cool uh, was sort of they're producing a film surface that's embedded with touch yep. sensors. So yep. I guess for like iPhone screens yep. and things like that. Yeah. Oh, and and there's all sorts of things now happening with. Um, Wind film on windows in buildings that that produce solar power. Oh, of course. So yeah, yeah. you w you wouldn't be surprised if somehow, you know what I mean? Mm. There, there's similar sort of similarities in terms of technologies and all that yeah. sort of thing. So they probably will end up very diversified, yeah. which which is a good thing. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Better that better that than a whole lot of people losing a job. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing that I took away from it um, was obviously um, it opened with the big question of uh, it opened with a lot of nostalgia mm. um, and this feeling of what Kodak was history tradition yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it's you know it's imaging and it's all that kind of jazz um, what what they talked about was this. Over now, as you wander around, the first feeling that hits you is, what if? And then the second feeling is, what if we all, when we went about doing our jobs, and like the, the board in particular and all that, they said, what if we thought a bit further ahead? Yeah. Or, you know, oh, yeah, this is profitable now, but, you know, mm. what can we do in 10 years? Mm. And, you know, I'm not a businessman, really. I, um... So I, I don't get that sort of thinking in that mm. sense. But I do get the thinking in the sense of trying to squirrel away a bit of time in your week to try some new stuff, learn a new technique, mm. fool around and probably fail with a new app mm. or something like that. Just, just, yeah. just because I think that's where the innovation starts. Yeah. 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 Oh, and also think about what you're doing you know okay. criti critically have a look at what you're doing on a yeah, as, not yeah. not every week but you know regularly so that if you think well i'm stagnating or that market that mm. niche market that i've been 
pursuing is starting to shrink a little bit, yeah. rather than just keep going without thinking about the next step. Okay, yeah. well, how can I, you know, manage change? Okay, so it's yeah, a really yeah. important. Mm. As you said, you can spend twenty minutes having a look at you know useless YouTube stuff, which you know might be a bit funny and whatever. Yeah. Or you can go well. I'll do that later, and I'll spend twenty minutes thinking about you know my business and where I'm going, and That's so it. that you're not in a situation where you're going. Oh, mm. I don't have any income anymore. Yeah. It's more. Where am I going to go in terms of changing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, YouTube and social media, because um, I'm, I was once young, and I'm still reasonably remember what it's like to be young. Um, it was always alluring, and it was always going to yeah. suck me in. Yeah. Uh, but at least, and I thought, well, if I'm going to spend a good chunk of my working day watching cat videos and getting in trouble for it, yeah. What if I spend a, a small chunk of my day looking at photography-related stuff? Because mm. I'm interested in it anyway. Mm. Um, that way, I'm still getting my social media fix. And, you know, I might accidentally learn something. At least there's something. something productive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and at the very... I mean, it's not an <coughs> issue here, but, you know, back when... In the new, early days... Well, newspaper and Facebook days where you had to really fight for access to Facebook and then fight mm. for access to YouTube... Mm. Um, you know, it was it was productive. It was yeah. all, I mean, I, I'm enjoying myself looking at this new medium, and it's about my industry anyway, so it's all good. That's right. Yeah. 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 Make learning fun. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Manage change, make learning fun. Absolutely. There you go. That should have been the title of this episode. Absolutely. How yeah. to manage change and make learning fun. Yeah, well, I'll put that on the little YouTube. We could do that, couldn't we? Yeah. 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 What else you got? No, not much else really. Um, oh, good, because now. Now, remember, how are we going? We're See, that's, all right. We're just a bit over 12 minutes, yeah. and we keep saying we don't want to be going too long, so yeah. Well, I have a little story. Oh, okay. So, so my dad gave me a call. Right. My dad. And he says one of his neighbours came in and dropped off a bunch of old, two old film cameras. Yep. Um, said, oh, they're probably junk, but. Whatever. Ben can have a look have at them. Have a look at them and see. So Dad's on the phone and I'm on the phone. I'm going, oh, because this happens from time to time. And most of them are, you know, something's wrong with them, but they look good. So I'll put them on a shelf or something. Anyway, I'm on the phone. Oh, thanks, Dad. Say hello, thank you. I'll drop her a bottle of wine next time I'm home. What, what by any chance, what are the brands? He said, Yashica or Yashica. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Yeah. And Olympus. Right. Which spoke to me already because I, I like Olympus. Um, but, and I said, what type of cameras are they? And he said, one's a Muju autofocus. Uh, my drawer dropped a little bit. And the Yashica, um, I said, when about was that made? And he said, oh, by the looks of it, it's made sort of in the 90s. And my drawer dropped further because um, in the sort of street photography and niche hipster, you know, new town. Where's yep. a hipstery place in Melbourne? Uh, I don't know. Frankston. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you can't um, buy these. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, they're, yeah. they're you, little... You, you, you can shoot film, but they're fully automatic. Mm-hmm. They're small. They go on your handbag. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of wedding photographers are rocking them as a sort of, you know, a creative outlet. So yep. they shoot the wedding on their serious stuff, pop off a roll of this, give them to the bride. She yep. thinks, I'm in film, I'm retro, it's yeah. amazing, yeah. all that. Yeah. So anyway, I put Olympus Muju 2, I think it is, into eBay to see what they went for. Right. Couldn't find one. Not, for Not one on eBay. Yep. Okay. You know, there's always junk on eBay to buy. Mm-hmm. Not one. There was an Olympus Muju 3 on eBay, just the one. One listing. So already, it was for? already you're thinking this is pretty special. Yeah. So the bidding was right. going at about two hundred and twenty bucks when I last oh, checked okay. in. Okay. Yep. So I'm like, I've, we're 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 going to something worth about hundred bucks. Yeah. Keep an eye on this and see what it ends up as. I broadened the keywords a bit to just Olympus Muju or Miju or however they pronounce it. So it included some of their early digital cameras that had that moniker. So. $220, $230 old-fashioned film camera up the top. Yep. 
There's an early digital one down the bottom, 3.1 megapixels. You know, which you know, it, it's more spec than a film camera. Do you know how much that was selling for? It had a dollar on it, with no bids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, yeah. what's the long story of that? Film is still valuable. Yeah, that's it. Mm. That's it. Thanks, well, that's Dad. a nice little surprise, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So you're. So I'm going to have to get a, like two bottles of expensive wine. Yeah. And I'm. Yeah. So you're, what, looking at in your retirement having a museum of. I don't know. I don't, equipment I don't, or. I don't, I don't sort of want to think about what happens. You know what I mean? Like past you, me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's nice to look after this sort of stuff, though, yeah. isn't it? It is. I, I seriously, would... because some of this stuff can end up just being. Well, what? You know, Lost and mm. yeah. Well, what I was thinking though, because I had, um, I've just upgraded one of my digital cameras. We're filming on it now, but I, usually I'd want to keep the first one. Yeah. Now I'm sort of like, well, it's digital. I'm happy to sell it on and let someone else yeah. get use out yeah. of it. Mm. Um, I'm not getting as sentimental to the digital stuff as the film yeah. stuff. Mm. Um, I don't know. I think mm. it's going to be a bit more timeless. Mm. But, and on that, hmm, we are Very good. 16 minutes. Well, that's... that's so, um, so you need to sign off. That's long enough. In a pithy, oh. an original... <laughs> now, I was actually thinking way. about this this afternoon. Oh, yeah, no. But I haven't come up with anything in particular yet. I'm just going to write it down. <clears throat> but... But... We could do something along the lines of... Yes. So this has been another episode of Sanctuary, brought to you by some of the staff in creative industries. So I'll work with that and maybe, yeah. at least it's a bit, that's a bit more professional than, yep. uh, you know, me just looking and going, see you later folks. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'll work, I'll, I'll sort of fiddle around with that and come up with something. Mm, I like it. And I know you're disappointed. No, but, no, no, I'm, know, I, I am, but I think it's, it's classic. Well. And it alludes to, the fact that there's more people in this building and that one day yes. with lots of coaxing yes. and support from the, the internet, we might be able to get them on as guests. Yeah, well, one of the things I remember I spoke to you today about the idea that we need to have a think about where students have gone from Wodonga Tape. Yes. Where have they gone to? Mm -hmm. You know, people who have ended up in industry. Mm -hmm. So it would be very interesting. I know, for example, a printing graphic art student, we should have a think about. You mean? And Very maybe, maybe Nick. Nick yeah. If we, I don't know, buy her a cocktail or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Does she like cocktails? Well, I don't know. Maybe or a bottle of wine or yeah. bubbly. Pack of biscuits. Pack of biscuits. A real. Yeah, like Tim. You know, she might. She might come in Not and both. tell us. She might tell us where. You know, how some students have gone. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. I think we should. All right, do your sign off and that'll be it. So this has been another episode of Sanctuary brought to you by two members of Creative Industries. See you later. <laughs> nice.